Life is slowly coming back to normal in Solai. After Thursday's tragedy, residents are picking themselves up, facing the reality of starting all over again, the tough journey of rebuilding. David Mburu has begun that journey. What he once called home has been reduced to this. A shirt here, a broken lantern there, the mess and disarray, a reflection of what is now his life. Vitu yenye ribebo ni vitu ya nyumba ikabebo yote ya jikoni. Hakuna kitu tuliwachiwa hata kimmoja. He collects all he can. He needs even the most little of resource. But he is among the lucky ones. His wife and children survived the dumb tragedy. His wife was outside when she heard the noise from up the hill and alerted the rest of the family. But even the rebuilding, David says, is giving him sleepless nights. At Solai Nyakinwa Primary School, pupils are set to report on Monday. Stanley Mburu, the headmaster, says the school lost 13 pupils. Most students will need counseling. Others lost parents, relatives or neighbors. Wana uniform, kubabu zote zilifagiriwa. Wana hitaji viatu na school bags. What were once desks, now pieces of damp wood. The playing fields have deep gullies. The waters had so much strength, moving with everything on its path. Madarasa ya riyoharibika ni madarasa ya darasa la tatu, la nne na la tano. Wale wengine, ukiona, kuna madarasa ambayo ya rikuwa ya meenda sabamba na mkondo wa Life has to continue, coming from a dark past. The pupils here are in need of school materials. The class 8 candidates, Stanley says, have to prepare for exams. Around the village, the earth movers clear the roads. The Kenya Power Company restores electricity. Prayers and song fill the air. Interdenominational prayers will be held on Wednesday, 16th May. Finally, the 45 bodies have been positively identified. County government has waived mortuary and post-mortem fees for those who died. It's all these people so that they don't become dependents thereafter. So the issue of how do they buy, how do they rebuild, how do they go back to work, how do those who are in school now go back to school. At the darkest time, Kenyans responded. They have had some food donation, clothing items, and some mattresses, but are still in need of more. Rebuilding takes time and effort. The sun will shine again. This heavy load, they hope, will ease. Masi Kandia Tanui, Citizen TV.